Hello all and welcome to episode two of Three Blind Bags. So what is Three Blind Bags? Well, if you see my series five random packs, this basically works on the same premise. I have been hunting down many a different type of blind bag products. I've placed them all in a box next to me and I will be pulling one out at random at a time. And when I pull one out at random, I then examine the pack, see what it's got to offer. They may have something rare and uncommon available. We'll analyze that. We'll then open it up, see what we get, have a bit of fun with it, perhaps take the mick as well. Now, as a singular product, I can't pick a favourite from a pack like in five random packs. But when I've got all three lined up against this wall of Mega Drive games here, I must pick one favourite from the three. And then what we'll do at the end of the year, we'll analyse all the favourites from every episode and then perhaps pick a champion of champion. So with that, it's time for the right hand to disappear into the box and get our first blind bag. So... Make a bit of noise, give it a shuffle, and what have we first? We have Thomas and Friends Minis. Now, I absolutely adored Thomas the Tank Engine as a kid. It was one of my, no, it was my favourite childhood programme. And there we have some caricatures of the... The trains there on the front of the package. There's the main man, top centre. There he is, Thomas. And then we've got, I think that was Percy. It's a bit of a dark red, so that might be James. And the other two on the left-hand side there kind of elude me. Made by Fisher Price. So a well-known brand in the toy making area. And uh, bottom right -hand corner, there we go. Ages 3 to 99. So I'm sorry if you've hit three figures, you'll be deprived of uh, being given these safely, I'm afraid. Uh, anything on the back about rare uncommon stuff? I very much doubt it. Contents, one engine, one locomotive. We have basically locomotive in many different languages there and if you're a, a baby Elvis between the ages 0 and 3 you can't own it either so there we go we have Thomas and Friends Mini so I, I had no idea there's no listings on the outside of who's in it or what we can expect but come on we want the main man we want Thomas himself so do we do we no no let's get the scissors out let's get the scissors out there's no messing about let's trim the top off and see what we get we got any paperwork oh we got paperwork okay let's let's analyze paperwork first this might tell us who we get there we go christ there's some names that i don't know they've obviously come in after way after i used to watch it why is james green i thought henry was wasn't henry the green engine back in the day and we've got carabelle i'm to annie annie are you okay uh hero rosie victor kevin spencer d10 not d12 ashima thomas bell and young bow Wow. I mean, I recognise the name James, but he was a red engine back in the day. Carabelle, well, that's a bit boring just to have a carriage. I mean, Kevin looks cool, but as a, as a guy who used to watch this as a kid, I kind of just want Thomas out of all of that because, yeah, that's the only one that's kind of relevant to... Oh, 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 Christ. I Wow, I went too soon. Look at all the... Cat Percy, Parrot Millie, Lizard Henry. There is Henry. He's green and he's a lizard. What? These are some weird mashup. Bunny Rosie, X-Ray Gator, Christmas Percy, here you go, five months early, never mind. Caramel Corian Scented Thomas, is it actually scented? Rainbow Tor Tom Taurus, who the hell's Taurus? Rainbow Thomas, Rainbow Emily, Rainbow Bell, Trash Flynn, Booger Ben, that is, that is gross, so is, so is Cockroach Birch. Jester Luke, King James, Sushi Bertie. Sushi Diesel, Sushi Troublesome Truck. Oh, the Spooky Thomas looks cool. That would be quite fun to have, actually. I like that. Got a little bit of a goth vibe going on about it. Spooky Porter, Spooky Salty, and Spooky D10. Well, there we go. There's a lot in there. I just thought that was going to be some sort of load of writing, basically health and safety, but there we go. Should have really flipped the other side over before I started thinking that was it. But there we go. So we Spooky Thomas. Oh, come on. There's there's far too many to aim for to get that right. So who have we got? Do we have Spooky Thomas? No, we have. Oh, that looks like the Lizard Henry that I was on about. I'm pretty sure that is it. It's it's all right. It's 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 a bit weird to make a train into some kind of reptile. But there we go. What, what's the red red lines on the top all about? The scaling on the side. I mean, Henry was green anyway, but apparently so is James, according to that. There we go. Not 
they're not pull back and go they are literally just yeah look at that here comes the train and all that uh, but there we go that is lizard henry I'm pretty sure that was Lizard Henry. That's what it said, wasn't it? So, yeah, against the Wall of Mega Drive games to compete with the other two in a minute. Bring another look. Yep, there it is. I have Lizard Henry. That is so cool. I really like the Spooky Thomas. Damn it, why weren't you in there? I'm not buying more of these, he says, unless they turn up for cheap in bulk. Oh, we could have a we could have a Thomas Minis opening video, couldn't we, if I did that? Um, no, we won't. But there we go. Lizard Henry. One of the most random characters you could ever make out of a Thomas the Tank Engine character. But there was quite a few random ones in there. But there we go. We got Lizard Henry. So will Lizard Henry be the favourite from the three that we're going to pull? So we go into the box again for blind bag number two. And what have we got? This this is a big one. This is Ryan's World Mystery Figure Series 1. And what the hell facial expression is that, Ryan? Pocket watch? got a watch in here what the hell is that i i, I kind of he think he he looks shocked and both happy at the same time which one will you get i don't know that's the idea of a mystery bag want more oh look a free advert there we go free advert for less than 100 people to watch would want more ryan download the free app at that that website address there warning choking has it each sold separately okay so what have we got what have we got oh we've got ultra rare We've got Ultra Rare. We have Combo, Panda, and Controller. A purple controller there. And he's got a little headset on there. Look, he's, he's playing Fortnite. Um, what else have we got? Gus and Pete. So that's, that's quite a cool little figure. I quite like that. Uh, Moe and Cupcake. Red Titan and Power Gauntlet. Is that attempted Power Rangers ripoff with the old Power Gauntlet? I don't know. Racer Ryan and Trophy. At least, at least Racer Ryan didn't, didn't come second. Looks like a gold trophy. Clearly smashed it. Uh, Kung Fu, Ryan, and Board. So is that meant to be a rip-off of... Oh God, look at that light. Oh, God. Is that meant to be a rip-off of Ryu or the Karate Kid or, or a combination of both? A little from column A, a little from column B kind of thing going on there. But look at Robot Ryan and Robot. Yep, yep. C-3PO. And is that supposed to be R2-D2? It looks like a very small oven that has turned into ice. What the hell is that all about? Collect them all. Um, as, as far as figure, I think Gus and Pizza looks cool, but if I'm ever going to put one of these figures in my gaming area, it would have to be a gaming panda, because who doesn't want a gaming panda in their life? And there we go. Look, 0-3, baby Elvises cannot own this again. So there we go. Series 1 of Ryan's World. But it says Pocket Watch there. I don't know what that's all about. It, doesn't, it just looks like figures. I mean, do they have a little LCD watch on their belly i highly doubt it for the price that i paid for these and yeah that that is really disturbing image of a, of a child it caught in multiple expressions but any go i've got scissors next to me but we've got an easy tear tab let's judge how easy the easy tear tab is and will we get the ultra rare will we get the ultra rare i could sell that on ebay for nearly 10p more than i paid if i do uh, what have we got? Oh, oh, I can fill paperwork, so we're going to nab out paperwork. Maybe there's more available in that, that I do. No, just new figures coming. Well, that's a bit uninteresting. They all look the same. They're just these black figures with question marks on their chest. They should really be a bit more imaginative with that. I know, I'm only joking. They don't know what they are yet. But there we go. The the, the Moe and Cupcake, which I thought looked a little bit like Morph with hair. There's a, a little bit of a darker red in here. The, the blood, oh god, blatant ripoff. What's on the back? Nothing. Nice plane. There we go. Look, we can write something. We can draw. We can make up one of these. We can on the back. We can, we can yeah, make this figure. Um, god no. What am I? I'm talking absolute crap here. Okay. So who have we got? Will we have Panda and Controller? Oh, it's in. It's in a, like a plastic shroud. We have. We have. What was it called? What was it called? Come back piece of paper. We have the Power Gauntlet one, I think. Where is it? Red Titan and Power Gauntlet. Probably the one I want. Mm. Am I being harsh? Yeah. I kind of don't want this one, really. Um, can we open it? Is it ready to go? It's ready to go. There he is. Oh, come on. Out you come. Uh, th that's it. There we are. It's a large figure. Give it its, give it its, it's quality made, to be fair. Little cape there that actually moves, flexes, look, fly with the wind, look at that, there it goes. Uh, th yeah, and the power gauntlet, so what, how does that attach? Does that just quite literally just do that? 
So yeah, kind of a little bit of a, a cheap ass superhero there with with Aron obviously standing for Ryan, but because my name's Rob, I can pretend it's me. No, I can't. I don't have any hair. Uh, there we go. So that is that is yes. Uh, name again: Red Titan and Power Gauntlet. Yeah, not 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 exactly loving that. Um, yeah, stand next to Lizard Henry. There's a competition between you two. Yeah, Lizard Henry still winning on weirdness. Okay, so into the box for the last time in this episode and you know what I, I can't really keep missing these i keep hitting them and that's because they're so bloody big i have got these so we're going for it pop a toy over 100 toys and you'll see they're elasticated together now i do realize these are separate but for me i would like to do them as one and i consider them as one because obviously pink means this is for a girl and blue means this is for a boy i remember paying a pound each for these in the pound shop so yeah i kind of wanted to make them one and count them as one just because i think we need a comparison as to what is for a girl and what is for a boy in the same episode so let's get me elastic band out of the way uh, well, which one do we do first though I, I never thought about that um let's go for the girls one let's go for the pink one and, and open up what looks like a little yogurt pop so what do we have here in this um a, a large piece of string the hell is that okay that's a bit random what the hell is it it's hang a minute disclaimer over 100 toys this is something you wear by the looks of it looks like a, a rather small girl's headband okay it's, it's elasticated I suppose for a quid, you can't argue with the quality. That's very felt like. I suppose, I, 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 do you know what? It's it's my niece's birthday this weekend. I might take that and see if she likes it. You know, stick that on her head, run around with that on her head. She may actually like that. So, yeah, I'm quietly impressed. What are the ages on here? Probably, yeah, baby Elvis's can't wear them. Um, okay. 100 items to collect. And there's no age. Yeah, just over three plus, so... Yeah, I, I can't imagine me giving it to, to my older sister and her wanting to wear it. So, But uh, above three, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it to my niece this weekend for her birthday. That, that's pretty nice. I was going to say, I, for, for a quid, you cannot argue, actually, with the quality. You may have been disappointed because you wanted more of a toy. Okay, so, um, yeah, the girls get to wear something. Uh, we'll pop that over there. And we'll open up the boys' toy and see what we get. There's going to be a headband or something. Oh. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, this looks like... Oh, this looks like a, a rather small vehicle. A very lime green, what, miniature bus or lorry or something. Let's move the yoghurt pot out the side, out the way. Um, that's, that's just, oh, it's a school bus. It says so on the back. Can we get into it? I've got scissors on... No, yep, yeah, there we go. Easy to open package. So there we go. We've got a little school bus. Running. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm stuck for words here. I, don't, I really don't know what to say about it. Why is it lime green? Um, and why did the wing mirrors not match? Where's the registration plate? That's breaking the law, that is. Running is... is that, um, yeah. Oh, right. It's, it's, not, it's got motorised. So if you push it on a hard surface, it's probably not going to go on my little car. Look at that. Hours of fun. Hours of fun. I wonder if my nephew will like that. It's not his birthday, but, you know, we'll give him a free toy. Gotta do something with these, unless it's gonna win the favourite from well, from what is the four, but I'm not gonna give it to a, to a headband. Um, yeah, quite again. I know it's a quid, but it's it's not the worst quality. You can argue it may not be a a quid's worth of toy, but at the same time, it is of good value actually. And look, look, it's just oh, hours of fun. So so that goes into there next to Lizard Henry. So what would I pick as my favourite? Well, the headband, no, not not gonna. Not going to cut it, I'm afraid. Um, not quite sure about old Power Gauntlet uh, superhero here. Even though, again, the quality of this is not bad. I think that was only a quid, that bag. I can't remember now. It's quite a while ago. And then we've got Lizard Henry as well. So do you know what? I'm going to give it to Lizard Henry just because it's a random character and it's quite cool for what it is, I suppose. It is a bit random. I did like Thomas the Tank Engine as a kid. So, yeah, we're going to go with Lizard Henry. 
And I, you know, I, I, I joked earlier about making a video. I might buy some more of these just because of the random nature of some of these. It'd be quite cool to actually look at them. So I may look into getting more of these and do a, a separate video on opening some of them just for fun because why not? But I'm going to give the favourites and put him up for champion of champions at the end of the year. Lizard Henry, look at that. Look at it from the just from the front like that without any additional detail on the side. Looks like you've got a rather nasty fungal face. Uh, in uh, what's it infection that's the word there we go random red lines so that is episode two of three blind bags so if you disagree with me in saying that lizard henry should be the favorite out of the well i suppose four but three because I kind of disregarded that. Uh, it's not really a toy, but I was going to say, I think she'll like that. But there we go. So, yeah, I'm giving it to Lizard Henry. If you do disagree with me, please write so in the comments section below. Also, would you be interested in seeing a video of me opening up a bunch of these? Please put that in the comments section below. If I get enough interest, I may like buy, I don't know, five, maybe ten of these. I don't know. And do a little un 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 unboxing video even though they're in bags i'm saying unboxing so ladies and gentlemen that is it as i say that is episode two of three blind bags put all those comments section comments section put all those comments in the section below thank you very much for watching indeed and as always please do take care